guys, today I'm filming my April update for my rolling sample project pan and I was able to use up several products. I'm decluttering a lot of things as well. So let's just get started with the hair empties. First is this foil packet of the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. This is a scalp scrub, but it isn't just like a thick sugar scrub. It is a shampoo, so it's much easier to work in the hair. I don't feel like I'm trying to like pick out little pieces. And there was one day this month where I used this with my little scalp brush that I got from Amazon. You can also buy similar ones from Ulta. So I definitely want to use this more with this type of product just to really get into my scalp, make sure that I'm cleansing it very well, getting the product out. But I really, really enjoy this. I have a couple more foil samples and a deluxe size sample that I will definitely use up. This is something I would absolutely consider repurchasing. I like this more than any other clarifying shampoo I've used or any other scalp scrub, just because the scent is nice. The texture is easy to work through the hair and I like what it does for my hair, but I don't think this is something I need so bad that I would buy it even with just like a 20% off coupon. But if I'm able to get this for like half off, I would totally get it. It's a really, really good product. Next, I used up the conditioner from the Madison Reed Color Protecting conditioner line and this is something that I chose to add in after my update because there were a couple other shampoo conditioners I tried and didn't like. This is very nice. I have the shampoo in here that I'm still working on. So just to give my thoughts on the conditioner, has a nice scent. This is quite hydrating. For my conditioner, I apply it from my ears down because I have very oily roots. I did really enjoy this. I have another set that I will keep and use up. Don't think that I would purchase it in the full size because I have other things that I prefer, but this was very good and I would recommend it. Now for my skincare empties, I did finally use up my Lancome Bifacil Makeup Remover. You can tell from these markings, I've been using this for a long time. Now I was using this in 2020. So it is completely used up, very excited about it. This does a great job of removing makeup. It breaks everything down. It is super, super oily, so you definitely have to double cleanse afterwards, which you should be doing anyway. But this is a nice product. Like I've mentioned before, I just don't reach for liquid makeup removers very much unless it's to remove swatches or clean up a makeup look or if I wake up the next morning and I have some mascara liner residue, I'll go in with a Q-tip, but to actually just remove my makeup, I would rather use a wipe or a cleansing balm. So not something I'd repurchase, but I do always keep these whenever I get them as freebies because they last for forever and I will use them. But if you are looking for a liquid makeup remover, this one is incredible. Then I've got my daytime serum, which was the Murad Vita C Glycolic Brightening Serum. This is very nice. I do enjoy this because it's not sticky and I like that it's a, like a creamy consistency instead of a gel like the Ole Henriksen is. So I really do enjoy this. If I get any more minis, I will use it up and not something that I would buy in the full size. I didn't really notice much of a difference from it, but I like the texture. I did use up another Sunday Riley Good Jeans. Like I said, I'm really just trying to get through the minis in my collection so that I can work on the full sizes. And I do enjoy this product. Haven't seen a ton of results from it, but I was super lucky to get a full size of this from Octoly recently. So once I use up that whole bottle, I'm hoping I'll be able to really see some good results. Then I've got my daytime moisturizer, which was the Belief True Cream aqua bomb you guys know this is my favorite daytime moisturizer it gives the perfect amount of hydration for my oily skin and i will definitely buy this in the future i'm lucky that i have several minis in my collection right now whenever i'm able to snag one i always do so i am able to put off the purchase for a little bit longer but i definitely will then for nighttime moisturizer i was using the drunk elephant f balm electrolyte water facial mask and this is basically a sleeping mask which to me i can use just like a moisturizer and that is how i used it 
and it is a gel. I didn't find it to be like overly hydrating and it definitely does feel more like a mask. It, it doesn't necessarily feel like a super hydrating moisturizer. And again, I used it like a nighttime moisturizer, but it is not sold as that. It says apply four to five pumps of this as a last step in your nighttime routine, maybe worn to bed as an overnight mask. I, obviously I don't have the full size bottle with the pump, but four to five pumps is a lot. So if this is something that you were using every day, every other day, you would go through this so quickly. So it, it didn't do anything for me, didn't love this. I'd probably use it up if I got another mini, but not that impressive. So wouldn't purchase that. I did surprisingly use up the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. I thought it was gonna take me a couple more months, but you can see it's all gone. And this is something that I've used before and thought was just okay, but this time when I used it, I did actually really like it. It did give a really nice amount of hydration to my under eyes without making them too greasy. Didn't give me any milia, which I'm prone to, so love this. I actually did recently get another mini as a freebie. So I am really looking forward to using that. So this is something that I might consider purchasing in the future. But if you guys watched the samples that make me want to buy the full size that I filmed for 2020, there were several eye creams I tried last year that I loved as well. And I think I like those the same as this, if not a little more. So Luckily, I don't need to buy an eye cream anytime soon, but I was very impressed by this one. And my last empty I'm the most proud of, and that would be this little baby perfume I rolled in last month that I also thought was gonna take me a few months to get through. This is the Clean Reserve Aqua Neroli perfume. It has 0.10 fluid ounces or three mils, so obviously it's very small. And I'll put the notes on the screen. I really like the scent of this. I don't know yet if it's something that I would buy in the rollerball size. I'd consider it, but I'm not totally in love with this perfume, but I do like it. I mentioned in my perfume collection video that this reminds me of one of the Mary Kate and Ashley like coast to coast perfumes. If you guys remember that they had like a pink bottle and a blue bottle. I don't know which one it was, but one of them definitely smelled like this. So very nostalgic. It was a good perfume. I'm very excited that I finished the whole thing. So possibly something I would buy in the future, but not in a mega rush. I am still looking for new spring summer scents and this is a good one, but I would love to hear your recommendations and I would love to try out some different perfume samples, but very happy I finished that one up and it was easy to get through because it's a roller ball. So it was much easier to apply than those little dabber bottles. So very, very happy with the amount of things I was able to use up. So now to show you the things that I will be working on this month, as always, I'm gonna show them to you in the order that I would apply them, but in the description box, I will have them separated as in progress and add-ins. So for hair products, I have the Madison Reed Shampoo. I was almost done with this, but not quite. This is from the Color Protecting line. I am down here, so this will definitely be finished by next month. I'm enjoying it, but I will save my review for next month. And then for conditioner, I have a full size. This is a Joyco K-Pack Color Therapy Luster Lock Instant Shine and Repair Treatment. I use this as deep conditioner. I love this product. It is the oldest conditioner in my collection. I've only used it once, but I'm down to here because it was not completely full. This is basically how much product it came with. And I am just gonna be keeping this in my shower for the rest of the year till I use it up because I do try to use shampoo and conditioners together, but I tend to run out of the conditioner faster and I will need a conditioner. So I will continue to show this to you guys every month so we can track the progress, but I know this is gonna be in for a while. I don't mind, I love this product. And instead of rolling in another travel size shampoo conditioner, I want to use up some foil samples. I do have more than this, but these are the three different kinds that I have right now. So that would be the Dry Bar Blonde Ale Brightening Shampoo Conditioner, which I already know I really like. The Eva NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 Shampoo Conditioner. Not sure if I've tried that one. 
and then I have the Verb Ghost Shampoo and Conditioner. I actually have three foil samples of this, so I want to try the one. If I enjoy it, I will use the others. If not, I will put them in a future giveaway. So I don't know that I can get through all three of these. I don't think I'm going to, but these are the ones that I have. I will review next month, whichever one I finish up, but I will be trying to finish this first. Then for my leave-in hair product, it is the It's a Tan Miracle Leave-In for Blondes. Made some good progress on it this month. So we were here last month. Now we're all the way down here. Very happy with that progress. And I think it will probably take me two more updates to finish it up. And that is totally fine. Looking forward to it. I enjoy this product, but I have so many leave-in hair products that... I'm not overusing them because it will make my hair greasy, but it's exciting when I can finish one up for sure. Then moving on to skincare. So I do have some deluxe sizes that I have rolled in that I will be working on, but then I do have a lot of foil samples as well. And I should be having my son in the next two weeks. And I already am very lazy about my nighttime skincare routine and I can only imagine it's going to get worse. I don't want to wish it upon myself. I'm hoping that, you know, maybe I'll be more motivated because my son is here and I will want to be like less lazy in general. So we'll see what happens. But I decided to add in some foil samples instead because I'm hoping to still have some things to review for you guys next month. We'll see how it all goes. So for the makeup remover. In the shower, I'm using my full size Clinique to take the day off cleansing balm. But on my vanity, I have this 1.7 fluid ounce bottle of the Lancome by Facil Face. I will still be using this on my eyes as well. But like I told you guys with liquid makeup removers, mostly use these to remove swatches or just like clean up any makeup residue. But this is completely full. I haven't used this at all yet we might be looking at this till the end of the year okay like y'all saw how many months it took me to get through this i have one two three four five six lines on there so that means this was about seven months so yes we might be working on this for most of the year and i'm fine with that this is the last liquid makeup remover i have in my collection so no sweat off my back there then for my cleanser, this is the Caudalie Vino Pure Purifying Gel Cleanser. I was here last month. Now I'm all the way down here. I am surprised by how much progress I made. I definitely thought that I was going to be using this for a few more months, but this will definitely be finished by my next update, which I'm very excited about. And then for my next couple products, these were all sent to me recently by my friend Jean. I did film an unboxing video, which I will link in the cards. And I know that all these products are not old, but you guys might know. I do have a makeup inventory and a skin hair body inventory spreadsheet on my computer. And I like that because I know how old everything is. And even though I know that these are not old products, it just drives me crazy that I can't write in my spreadsheet when Jean got them. And for makeup, I don't mind. I think makeup lasts a lot longer. So I just put it on my spreadsheet whenever I acquired it. But for skincare, I don't know. I feel differently about it. So basically, long story short, I am adding in four of the things that Jean sent me this month so that I don't even have to worry about adding them to my spreadsheet and having this blank about the date. Like I know that is so silly and, and weird and random, but it's fine. I'm, I'm happy to start using these right now. So the cleanser I will start using after I finish the Caudalie is the Glam Glow Super Cleanse Clearing Cream to Foam Cleanser. I've used this before and really loved it. So I'm very happy to have another. Then for the serums, I've actually already started using these and there's not a ton left. So for the daytime, we have the Sunday Riley CEO Brightening Serum and for night, Sunday Riley Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment. So for moisturizers, for the daytime, I'm using another of the Belief True Cream Aqua Bomb. I have about 
half the products left. Then for nighttime, I'm using the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm. There is a lot of this left. This is gonna take me a couple more months to get through for sure. And then for eye cream, I'm using another thing that Jean sent me. This is the Glam Glow Bright Eyes Eye Cream, which I think has shown up in a lot of subscription boxes recently. This mini came in subscription boxes and a full size people have gotten recently. So I will be interested to try that out. And I know that is gonna take me a while to get through. I've been using it. And because this is more of a cream, I'm using even less than I was of the belief because I really don't want that milia under my eyes. Then I got this little sandwich baggie of some samples and I don't know that I'm gonna use all of these this next month, but I just wanna show you the stash that I have. So I'm very excited to try this. This is the Belief Aqua Balm Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. This looks like a one-time use, especially with how much makeup I tend to wear. I have this Saturday Skin Wide Awake Brightening Eye Cream. I'm probably not gonna try this one yet because I'm going to want to use this probably for a month and then maybe I'll use the sample. So I'm gonna show it to you, but I probably won't use that one. Then I have the Glam Glow Water Burst Hydrated Glow Moisturizer and the Glam Glow Moisture Trip Omega Rich Moisturizer. They both sound like they'd be better for nighttime and I have a lot of that belief left, but we'll see what happens. And then I've got two samples of the Wishful Honey Balm Jelly Moisturizer. We will see if I like the texture of this. If not, I will pass on the other sample. So we'll see what I get through out of those. And then we have my body products, which I'm actually really excited about. So I do have several scrubs in my collection and I am terrible at using them. I tried to pan one last year and I barely used it, but I wanna be better this year. I want to exfoliate my skin a little bit better. So I have this little mini that sounds perfect for spring. So I'm hoping to use this up by the end of May, but we'll see what happens. I think this will be fine to go into summer if necessary. This is from Lemongrass Spa and this is their lavender mint body polish. I'm not, it's one out. So if I use this on my whole body, that's not too much, but I'm likely going to use this on my stomach and on my arms. So Really, again, using it on your whole body shouldn't take too long, but just knowing me, it's gonna be a challenge. This is completely full, a little oily on the top. We'll see what I think of the texture. I haven't tried this before, and you guys know I haven't enjoyed a lot of the things I've tried from Lemongrass Spa, but I'm hoping I like this one. So I just wanna use that up by the end of spring. Then for lotion, I told you guys that I was gonna roll this out, but the lotion that I had picked to use from Soap and Glory, I actually did not end up liking the scent of that. So it's in my declutter section. So I did then pull back in the lotion I was using, which is from Lemongrass Spa. It is the Spearmint Eucalyptus Hand and Body Lotion. It's a two ounce bottle. And previously I was right here. So I had a decent amount of lotion left, but I wanted it to be easier to use. So I started storing it upside down. And now that is all that I have left. So I used up a lot of product. So going from this much to this much, I used up a lot, which is fantastic. I think this will be finished by next month, which will be great. Like I said, I don't love this, but I have been mixing this with an Olay Hyaluronic Acid Serum to give me a bit more hydration. So I want to finish that this month. And then once I, oh, Heather, okay. So once I'm finished that, I want to start using these little sample packs I got of the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Massage Lotion for stretch marks and these come with 20 mils or 0.68 fluid ounces. So these two together are about an ounce and a quarter. I didn't use stretch mark lotion my whole pregnancy. I do have stretch marks on my stomach already. I've got some on my legs and they kind of snuck up on me, but I didn't take care of my skin like I should have. Might be too late for this, but 
I, I'm going to give it a try. So I will move on to these once I'm done with this. I might put these in this bottle or something to make it easier to use. We'll see what happens. I think these will take me a while to get through. You guys know I'm bad about lotion. And then I did decide to put in another little mini perfume bottle since I got through the clean very quickly. And I also don't really have other perfumes that I'm necessarily wanting to pan this year, but I've used up two little baby bottles so far. So I thought, let's work on another. I love having these for display, but I want to use them as well, even though this is pretty new. Anyway, this is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, which is my favorite spring scent. I do have a scent bird size and a 3.4 fluid ounce which are older, but again, I knew this would be easier to get through. So this was completely full and I've already been using it for a week, a week and a half. And this is where I am. So my goal is just to use this up by the end of May, which for me is when I stopped using my spring product. So if I can finish both of these by the end of May, this by the end of the month, then I will feel super excited about that. I love this perfume so much and I like having perfume empties in my yearly makeup empties and even if they're baby bottles, I will still feel good about that. And now I only have three random empties for March. The first one is the Kirkland Daily Facial Towelettes. This is the pack of 15 wipes. This is a travel pack. I just use this to remove swatches. I hate these. They don't remove all of my face and eye makeup easily like the Neutrogena ones do. And these burn my eyes and my skin. And I don't have sensitive skin, but these just don't work for me at all. I know a lot of people really love these. That's why I go with Neutrogena all the way because these just don't work. I also am calling it quits on my AOA Paw Paw beauty sponge i use this for three months and that is how long i like to use my sponges i also have a ton of backups right now so i can call them done after three months i did enjoy this i like that it has the shape of the original beauty blender i use this for foundation and concealer i did really enjoy this however i do prefer the real techniques for the shape i know pawpaw aoa makes the Real Techniques shape as well. So it might be something I buy in the future, but I have a four pack of the Real Techniques right now. I like the Real Techniques and the original Beauty Blender sponge better than this one, but I do like this sponge. Totally would recommend it, would repurchase it. The Paw Paw version is 155, I think, cause that 55 cents goes towards an animal foundation, which is fantastic. So such good quality for such an affordable price. I've definitely tried other sponges that cost more than that one that were way worse. And the last product is my deodorant, which is the Dove Dry Spray and the Lavender Fresh. I love this. I try out different scents, but the Dove Dry Spray really does work for me. It helps to keep me smelling fresh and mostly dry, although I've been sweating more in my pregnancy, which I guess makes sense. But I really enjoy this. I have already repurchased it and one of these bottles usually lasts me about three months, which is good because these do cost a little bit more than regular deodorant because it is the spray, but definitely recommend it and have already repurchased it. All right, so last we just have the things that I am decluttering. There are several. So starting with my body products, I already mentioned this a little bit. This is the lotion I decided to let go of because I didn't like the smell. This is the Soap and Glory Hand Food Hand Cream. And for some reason, I thought this was gonna have like a sweet smell. And it's a bit more florally and it's not bad, but I just know it's gonna take me a while to use up and I don't love it. So I would rather pass this on to somebody else. I have other lotions that I will need to get through this year and I'm really bad at using lotion. Then for some skincare products, I have four things that I didn't try, but just decided I didn't need. I am every, other month probably going through what I have left of my skincare deluxe sample collection to try to purge some things since I have a lot of full sizes I want to use as well. So the four things I'm letting go of, again, I have no reviews because I've not tried them before. The Fresh Black Tea Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence and the Fresh Youth Preserve Moisturizer. I just find fresh products to be too heavily scented. I'm not interested in using like a black tea toner. 
Then I also have the Skin Iceland Antidote Cooling Daily Lotion and the Shiseido Wasso Clear Mega Hydrating Cream. Sure, they're fine. Would rather use my Belief products. Then I have four shampoo and conditioners. Two I tried, two I didn't. So starting with the ones that I tried, the It's a 10 Miracle Moisture Shampoo and Miracle Daily Conditioner. Love the scent of these. I think It's a 10 has great products, but these were way too hydrating for my hair. Like I said, I do have very oily roots and this just made me too greasy. So I did use those just a couple of times. There's a ton of product left to pass on to someone else. And same with the Living Proof Restore Shampoo and Conditioner, nice scent, but these made my hair too greasy as well. So those are gonna go. And I decided to actually declutter the other Living Proof Shampoo and Conditioners that I have because I just haven't been overly impressed with the line as a whole, or the brand as a whole, I should say. And I have a ton of shampoo and conditioners that I want to try out. So I am getting rid of the no frizz shampoo and conditioner and the full shampoo and conditioner so these ones will go in a giveaway and then the used ones i will pass on to some friends so guys that is everything i know that was a long update like usual but i'm really happy with what i was able to use up i'm hoping that i can get through some more of these things by next month i think that this will be done these will be done shampoo and the lotion. So one, two, three, four, five deluxe size products. So I will feel good about that. Hopefully I can get through some of those foil samples. Maybe I'll surprise myself and use up a couple other items, but these five things for sure, I think should be used up, which is great. So guys, I wanna thank you all so much for watching this video. I would love to know your thoughts on these products in the comments down below. And I would love to know if you are doing any sort of sample or skincare, hair body care, project pan on your channel or your Instagram. I would love to check it out if you are doing that. And I wanna thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.